All right, so what is up everybody on YouTube? This is Bullet RC coming to you guys again with yet another video. And this time, of course, is gonna be our weekly sneaker rotation. But before we get into that, I just wanna throw a quick few updates. So if you would listen to me talk for about, hopefully only a minute. So let's go ahead and get into it. First off, shout out to my man, Victory D, Diaz for the Rodeo T, um, he actually was at the Summers in concert, I believe. He hit me up saying, he knew I was a Travis Scott fucking stan, if you wanna call me that. <laughs> so he actually hit me up, asked me that I wanna get a shirt. So shout out to my man Victory for the Rodeo Tour T. Also, if you guys didn't know, me and Tony are trying to open up the new site for Sample Industries, Sample IND. So if you guys go to sampleind.com, we have, have it set up so you guys can um, sign for the newsletter. So if you want to just stay up to date on that, um, you can sign up for a newsletter and you'll get the emails when stuff is going to be releasing, like uh, these these olive joggers right here um, and a pair of khaki joggers are going to be releasing, should be uh, this Wednesday. And then also we have some world tour um, stuff coming and then we have essentials and then we have a jersey and some other stuff. Um, but this is one of the world tour jackets, so I'm going to just flash it real fast. This is the USA one, boom, coach jacket, oh look at that. Okay, you see the back with the USA? Okay, I gotta throw that away now. But other than that, also wanna shout out my dude over at Arctic Premium. You guys were interested in the like the olive or the more forest green um, colorway. They are releasing more colorways today, supposedly. Um, that's what he told me. Um, you see you got your red, you got your peach, which is like a pinkish color. You got your off-white, um, basically your ivory almost um, color, and you have a gray with the off-white um, biker panels. If you guys have not checked them out yet, you guys can use the code BULL, B-U-L-L, for free shipping on their site. Um, and yeah, if you wanna check it out, I'll leave a link down below to everything. So, shout out to Victory, sampleind.com, sign for the newsletter, be on top of that. Um, and also my dudes over at Arctic Premium have new stuff coming out. So anyways, let's get into my weekly sneaker rotation for this week. And as always, this stuff is probably not in the right order, but it doesn't matter, let's get to it. All right, y'all, so for Monday of this week, I went with the Nike Air Python. Of course, this is the albino or white pair. Um, a lot of people still don't know what this shoe is, um, so I made sure to throw it in this week's sneaker rotation. And I also wanted to give a big shout out to the people over at Rope Lace Supply Co. Um, they have a few different colors of like premium leather laces, and the white leather laces with the gold tips on these joints look crazy. They have red, they have a silver pair, um, and they also have a black, and I got all of them. Uh, but once again, man, shout out to the people over at Rope Lace Supply Co. If you guys are looking for laces, that is definitely somewhere you guys can check out. But anyways, like I was saying, Nike Air Python, albino pair. I got this and the red pair. Um, and if I can find a link to these, I will leave it down below for you guys. As if I can find the links for any of these other shoes, I'll leave it down there too. But that was my shoe for Monday. So let's go ahead and hop right in the Tuesday. All right, y'all, and so for Tuesday, we went with the classic, the fall favorite, the Wheat Timberland. Now, you guys know I posted a picture of um, the Agnora Tims, which is the off-white Tims that I actually got from Chance Sports, so shout out to them. Um, shout out to Finish Line for actually this pair, but if you guys are going for Tims, definitely either go a size down to a half a size down, because they do fit big, this is a size 12 on me and you guys already know I have a big foot so these with slim denim um, They look kind of they look good They look good, but at the same time it just bothers me because <laughs> this is a big pair of boots um, For size 12 and it probably would look better on me if I had that 11 and a half or 11 So just think about that when you're going to grab your Tim's this fall or if you already have some Tim's um, Hopefully you just got the right size. But anyways if you guys are looking for any of these Tim's it's really easy to find Tim's, but I'll leave a link down below. Anyways, if you want to check out a pair of the Agnor pair, a lot of people are going crazy for the all red pair. I haven't gotten those. I might get those. And then there's a navy pair as well I might grab as well, but we'll see. Anyways, that was Tuesday, Wednesday. Let's go. All right, y'all. So getting into Wednesday, we have the Scream Green Hirachi. Um, and this is actually another shoe I got from Finish Line, so shout out to them. Um, if you guys are going for Rachi, as I always say, I would go a half size down. This is a size 12 on my foot. This is my true size, but it does run snug on me. Um, weird random fact about me, my left foot is bigger than my right foot, so you guys can kind of see the difference. Um, hopefully it's not windy, because uh, what is it, Hur Hurricane Joaquin 
is finally going away so I finally had a chance to shoot outside today and it's like perfect lighting so this should look really good um, but that's beside the point like I was saying sizing for Hirachis definitely go at least half a size down this is a size 12 and you guys can see how it fits on my foot 12 is usually my native size in kicks especially Jordan's um, Nike's a 12 is what I usually wear but once again that was the scream green Hirachi for Wednesday now let's see what I put on for Thursday all right, and for Thursday, we have a shoe that needs no introduction and definitely not a new shoe to the weekly sneaker rotation. That is the Air Jordan 11 in the black, red, and white, or bread colorway, or playoff 11 colorway, whatever you want to call it. That's actually what I threw on for Thursday. I think I could be completely wrong. Um, but all I know is I threw these on with a black 10 deep damage repair denim. Um, and I threw on my new Supreme um, Championship football top with these joints. And I, th I think I threw on a black, my black huff hat. Um, but that was a fit for these. I know people were asking me also about the return of a weekly fit rotation. Um, and what I said, what I wanted to do was do a fit of the, uh, a few more fit of the days in different places to kind of just like offset that. So I'm going to be working to get to that point. Um, but right now I'm just doing what doing what I can because I have other things to do other than uh, YouTube even though YouTube is basically one of my um, few jobs that I do have <laughs> so anyways that was Thursday the Air Jordan 11 bread classic clean colorway you can't really go wrong with the bread 11 let's go ahead and get into Friday all right so Friday I went with another regular return to the sneaky sneakly there's that name again no weekly sneaker not sneakly rotation and that is the shadow air jordan one and i know you guys have seen me pull out a lot of different ones um during these last few weekly sneaker rotations and that's just just because the one is such a versatile shoe um it's one of my favorite jordan models um and it just it just goes easy with anything like if i really wanted to i could wear this shoe this outfit I probably wouldn't do that. I probably might maybe wear like the breads or something like that. Maybe even all black Tim with this outfit that I'm wearing, even though I'm wearing shorts. You would have seen that on IG. And the ultra rare, of course, Banasi slide. $20 at your local rack room shoes. But anyways, like I was saying, Friday, Shadow Air Jordan 1, black, gray, and white. Simple and clean, as always. One of the best Jordan models, silhouettes. Clean, clean, clean. Saturday, let's get to it. Okay, and for Saturday, you guys know I actually went and picked up the Laney 14 Lowe's. Um, I'm assuming that you've already seen that vlog and the on feed review for that. But the shoes I was wearing in the vlog were these. You guys see me pick these up in my Nike clearance pickup video um, a while, a few weeks back. The Nike Free 3.1 Flyknit. Once again, I got this from a uh, well, shout out to my dad for being the real MVP of picking this joint up. Um, actually, a Nike clearance store down in Florida. Once again, shout out to my man Zay X and that shoe girl Katie. Um, just for kicks, um, two on two, because they all know. Benny Blanco, um, shout out to him. Big deals, shout out to all my people down um, in Florida, because they probably know exactly which um, clearance store I'm talking about right here. But mine are getting a little dirty. Of course, this is an all white flying at kick, so it's nothing I can really do about that. Um, but I got another pair of. Uh, Another pair of dope fly knit kicks that should be coming in tomorrow. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to drop the unboxing tomorrow or Wednesday, but you guys will see. And I got another pair from Nike. I got two new pairs of shoes coming from Nike. Um, I look. I went a little ham over the weekend, and uh, I really need to stop. Honestly, I think it's. I think, I think it's getting bad this week. This week is pretty bad. But that was Friday. Actually, was that Friday? No, that was Saturday because I picked up the Laneys. Let's get into the last shoe of this rotation, and we're definitely keeping it cozy. Very cozy. Sunday. All right, y'all. So for the last and final shoe of this week's sneaker rotation for Sunday, I have the Air Max One. Now I think this is from the quote. Don't quote me on this, but the Pink Pack. I think it was called. Um, and you guys know I got these a few years ago with my. I call them the Wine and Dine Air Max Ones. Um, I actually got these for about 60 bucks. Shout out to my man Deadstocks VA um, back when he was doing the events in Virginia Beach. Um, I'm not sure if he has anything coming up. Maybe I'll ask him. You know, maybe he does, maybe he doesn't, but I'm pretty sure I man's cooking up something. Um, but I got these for about 60 bucks. Uh, it was probably one of my best purchases, and these are originally released in 2007. So this is an older pair of Air Max 1s. The air bubble is fogging up on my pair a bit. 
uh, but it's just one of those shoes where I really don't get a lot of chances to wear them. I just don't wear them that much, but they're extremely comfortable. Um, and those of you that know about the toe shape from like an older Air Max one to a newer one, um, just the shape on these is just way better than the newer releases in my opinion. Like the patches, the Air Max one patches, all those patch shoes had really good um, toe box shapes, but a lot of the new releases just are kind of weird. But that is it for this week's sneak rotation. That was Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday, and Sunday, like I said. Have all these shoes over here, and like I was talking about before, guys, if you have not, please, 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 a lot of people are telling me that they're missing out on Sample Industries releases. Go check out sampleind.com. You guys can sort of sign up for the newsletter, and you guys will get updates easily straight to your email. Also, you guys can follow us on Instagram and Twitter at S-M-P-L-I-N-D. Also, what I was saying before, shout out to my dudes over at Arctic Premium. I will leave a link down below. Use the code BULL, B-U-L-L, -L, for free shipping. That is to domestic states, not, you know, overseas. Um, but they got new colors in the biker joggers and biker hoodie coming out. If you guys are looking for fitment information on these, the pants you can go true to size. I go a size up to an XL just because I like a more baggy look. And then the hoodies definitely go a size up. Anyways, that is it. That is all these clothes, all these shoes. I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. I hope it looked really good because when I was looking at it, I, I think I looked pretty good on the camera. But anyways, much love to all the fam, followers, and supporters. You guys can follow me on Instagram, Twitter, SoundCloud, Snub, Snubs, Twitch, here, there, Blase, blah, at Bold RC. I'm gonna see you guys in the next video. Peace.